Alrighty, so we're back and we're getting ready to build this unit. We spent a little bit of time actually looking for the manual online and we could not find it. So what we're going to go ahead and do is kind of, you know, after reading some forums and after figuring things out, we found that a lot of people just kind of winged it and put it together themselves. So like anything, we're going to start off with actually constructing the unit. I'm going to start by looking at a couple things before I do. So I'm just going to kind of move some things out of the way that I know we won't really need for right now. Uh, and let me just kind of start off some of the basics here. Okay, so what do we have here? So this, after looking at some pictures, these two components, this one here, the big plate, and this one, they actually look like sensor mounts. I'm going to go ahead and put those off to the side. And I know that this is what's going to be used to construct the unit. And that's going to be something like this, with something like that going on, and these plates sandwiching. Now, what I'm going to try to do is figure out what screws are going to go where by kind of just looking quickly through this bag of goodies to see if it's obvious or not. Now, what I quickly see inside of this bag is that we have some sensor mounts here. These look like they're for the Max Botix uh, Ultra. Uh, what do you call it? ultrasonic sensors? So I'm going to put those off to the side. We have some wiring here. I'm not sure what it is just yet. Just looks like basic wiring for power. I'm not sure how we're going to use that. We have a few standoffs, and what I actually saw some people do online, they actually use these standoffs to mount the sensor plate, which is this big one here. Kind of goes, sits on top of the unit, which is kind of the typical way that many robot kits come that they have these plates that you mount on top of the mobile platform. So we're not going to need those standoffs right now. And what else do we have here? So we have, uh, aside from the screws, we have these two items. I'm not sure what they're going to be used for. I mean, I know what they are. One's a switch and one is for, it looks like an AC adapter or something of some sort. Now how is that going to plug in? There's two of them. Now, it's clear to me that <laughs> there's only one of these, the front or the back, I'm not sure which one it is, but typically how we do it is the back. So on the back, we're gonna have a power switch, and we're gonna have this plug here. Does that even fit in there? I'm not quite sure. But one hole is bigger than the other, so yep, sure enough it does. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty obvious. We're gonna have to put the power switch in this uh, AC adapter plug. It's a female plug, and it's gonna actually go on the back. All right, so that's pretty clear. So now I know that this is the back. At first, this looks like maybe there's gonna be kind of some 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 kind of special sensor mounted to it of some sort or whatnot. But now, how we're gonna wire it, I'm not sure. We're gonna have to figure that out. But like all robot kits, we start off with actually building it, and we the electronics are saved for last. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate all the screws, so I know how many I have of each. This tends to help you out when you're building because you can kind of decipher where what what goes where now let's see again this is a I start off by saying this is a good uh, beginner kit and I'm still gonna stick to that idea because I'm seeing that this is not a hard kit to put together you just have to do a, you know you have to figure out a few things so we have six of these long screws here they're all Phillips head so you're definitely going to need a Phillips head. You're going to need, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the tools that I'm not going to need here. I have a hex and I have a Phillips head, so I'm going to use only the Phillips head. Put my hex away. I'm definitely going to need the pliers. I'm not going to need my knife anymore, but I'm pretty sure after I saw that wiring that I'm going to need some wire cutters and a stripper. So this is uh, something you can pick up at Home Depot for fairly cheap. Now we have a series of washers and nuts here. So I recommend is uh, putting these off to the side. Let's see here. These are not all the same screws. I'm just kind of isolating the screws from everything else. So these are a series of washers and whatnot. So I'm going to 
start separating washers, lock rings, and the nuts. I see two different sizes of nuts, some small ones and some larger ones. I'm not exactly sure of the size, unfortunately. But by isolating these, this is going to tell me basically what goes where. So we started off here by saying that there were six, okay, six of these long ones. I was hoping that the numbers would match up exactly, but they don't. And then we have eight. Let's see here. Pardon me while I kind of count here. Nine. We have nine of these. Ten of those. Eight of these. So I'm not really sure what screws belong to what. So let me just kind of move my tools out of the way for the time being. So we have these. We have eight washers here. We have eight large nuts. Sorry, nine large nuts and eight small nuts and ten. These are, I'm not sure what you call these. I think they're lock washers of some sort. And then you have these two big ones here a washer of some sort and a nut. And then our screws, we have various types of screws. Now, just from building several robot kits, I can quickly pick out two screws which belong to the battery casing, which they are. Uh, they have a flat top like that. So those will be used for the battery case. However, those are going to be screwed in. Then you have a couple other ones here, which are similar to those that you find in your typical computer case. Uh, they're Phillips slash flathead. And you have a series of these. Actually, you have a lot of these. So what I'm going to start assuming based off of that is that a lot of these will be used to actually put the let's see so all of these are the same alright so I'm gonna make the assumption that since all of these are the same that's what we're gonna to use to build this and then we'll figure out these long ones and how these are gonna go I think what's gonna happen here is that since this doesn't have anything this is the actual AC adapter I bet you anything that this slips right over there. Yep, sure enough it does. And this screws on right at, right as just like that. And sure enough, this is what's going to be used to mount this. Yep, there it is. So that screws in right there. So good to get that right out of the way. So now let's see what else we have here. So I guess we can start off by what I'm going to do first. Let's see, it's typically nice to uh, to solder these on, but I'm going to leave these for last, and I'm just going to kind of construct this. Now, one thing I am going to do, and oops, I should have put my razor away so quickly, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up the uh, motor packs, just to take a look at one of them. The reason why is because I need to see how this is going to mount and what screws are going to go where. So I've got one of them here, and uh, Sorry about that. Now, how do these get mounted? They're going to be mounted onto these longer side panels. And there's a big hole and a small hole here. I'm going to assume that this is the larger one and this is the smaller one. So the larger one is actually the axle. So that gets mounted like such. And I just figured it out, I think. Let me make sure because I might be incorrect here. only one screw in this entire kit that goes all the way through there and I'm not sure if that's what's going to go there because you need two and we have four that means we need eight of those long screws and we only have uh, so, oh sorry we do have eight of those okay so that's accurate those are going to actually go through and used to be mounted uh, we're going to use these long screws to mount the motors okay great so I'm going to assume that with having said that that these are the washers these guys which are the small ones they look like they lock down and then there's a color here in uh, the nut of the 
the colors of the nut here, the smaller nuts, actually match these.